hi everyone in this video i'm gonna share with you guys how to use uh the whole number so i'm gonna cover a lot of stuff here okay so in case you don't get it look i'm here to help you guys even myself back in the day you know some stuff i didn't get it right so um that's why i want to help you guys all right i'm not here just you know talk 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 no i'm here to help you guys in case you don't get it like i said i'm here to help you guys okay so yeah salut mes amis j'espère que vous allez très bien bote na bandeko ne suba ko landa ngai lelo na ko coach bino ndegni to utiliser ka ho numbers okay alors dans le blog blog moi ming okay so en posant la question na za pour ko aider bino okay so yeah so i decided also to uh to cover this again because if you watch my dear the video you're gonna see i was talking about it my dear the lesson so uh, the whole number are written with the digits okay so you're gonna see here we have uh zero one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay and then it's um it's divide it when you divide it like this is how i end up putting here the whole number is a number that one divides into with no remainder okay so uh the number 24 Seven is a whole number, okay? We come here. We got also odd numbers, even numbers. So we got different stuff here, okay? And the whole numbers include zero and all positive numbers, okay? So an old and um an odd numbers. So here I'm talking about the whole numbers. Include zero and the all positive numbers now and all numbers is not divisible by two okay that's why i put d unite of an an odd numbers is one three five seven nine okay so we got uh an even number is divisible by two so an old number and even are not the same. That's why you see I put uh, the number. The number is zero, two, four, six, or eight. Okay. So um, for example, here you can see twelve and one hundred and one hundred ninety eight are the even numbers. Okay. We come here. So in case you guys want to take some notes. We come here okay so these one are also the different uh type of numbers okay but we're not gonna i'm not gonna cover this like a lot i no. just want to show you guys okay now we're gonna do this exercise together okay when you see like this when you see like this, don't panic. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it correctly, okay? So, so we're going to work on this together, okay? So we're going to rewrite them. Now, when you see like this, oh, right? Now, we're going to start with, we're going to rewrite this down, okay? So we're going to rewrite this. And put here. Seven and three. We start with this one, right? Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do this correctly. Okay, so we're gonna put the line here. We put the line here. Put here, and we put another one here. Okay. Now the eight. This eight is gonna go right here. now we're gonna start with, with this one it's 925 right so we're gonna write the five here first we're gonna write uh two right here we're gonna write nine here okay so i just want to show you guys okay 
in case you don't get it. Okay, so we're gonna write uh, two seven two three. This eight, we're gonna write it right here. This five, not nine. This five, we're gonna write right here. This two, we're gonna write right here. This nine is gonna go right here. And we cross here, pass. Now, five plus eight equal what? Do the math, simple math. If you got five plus eight equal, has plus uh, three equal what? 16. Okay. So when we add three here, you're going to give us 16. Okay. Or the easy way you can do eight, you have to follow what the way I did easier when you do that okay the answer is 16 now we're gonna get this 16 we're gonna get this six we're gonna put here the one on top here okay two so you see here some of you may in some situation you're not gonna get it but it's okay so two plus two equal four plus one equal five Now, 9 plus 7 equal what? 16. Okay? And then 1 on top. So we don't have any number here. So 1 plus 2 equal 3. Okay? This is the answer. This is what we get. 3, 6, 5, 6. So we're going to do another way. How are you going to get it right in case you don't get it? Okay? So we're going to rewrite it. 2, 7, 2, 3. And we're going to write this 8. Right here, we're going to write this 5. Here, we're going to write 2. We're going to write 9 and plus. Now we're going to add the 0. You add 0 here. You add 0 here. You add 0 here. Here we're going to add another 0 to make life easier. Huh? Now, 5 plus 8 equal what? Plus 3 equal 16. So when you add those numbers together here, you get 16. Okay? So you're going to put 6 right here. 1 UK, 1 on top here. Okay? Now, 2 plus 0, 2 plus 2, 4 plus the 1 on top equal 5. Okay? 9 plus 0 equal 9. Plus 7 equal 16. We write 6 here. We put 1 on top here. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0 plus 2 equals 2. Plus them 1 on top equals 3. So the same answer, okay? That's how we do it. Okay? So we're going to do the next exercise, all right? So this one minus mean to take out, okay? So we're going to rewrite this here. The answer here is it's 5. Zero, five, seven. This is the answer, but how I end up getting this? So how I get it? So I'm going to show you guys, okay? So what we're going to do here, we're going to rewrite this. Six, zero, three, nine. And remember, we're going to write two here first. We're going to write 8 here. We're going to write 9 right here. Okay. 
and then don't forget to put minus okay now when we do 2 minus 2 minus 9 equal what 7 and because because 7 plus 2 equal 9 Okay, so when we take 2 inside of 9, it's going to left 7. That's the one. Okay. Now, when we do 8 minus 3, uh, no, we cannot do that. So we have to borrow from 0 here. No, we cannot borrow from 0 because there's nothing there. So we have to borrow here. So when we borrow one here, instead of six, it's gonna left five. Because we borrow one from six. So when we add here, it's gonna be ten. Now when nine, when three borrow to nine to ten, one, it's gonna left nine. Okay? So we're gonna put it right here. So eight minus to uh, uh tres equal what five five huh because when we do this minus eight equal five okay equal five so okay now remember Remember, we have here 9 because we borrow 1 in 10. It's left 9 here. So, 9 minus, so 9 minus 9 equal 0 here. Now, the remainder one we have is 5 on top of it because we borrow, remember when we did the math? So the five is left. We're gonna write right here. That's the answer. Okay. I'm gonna do one more time in case you don't get it. One more time in case you don't get it. Okay. One more time. In case you don't get it. So we're gonna rewrite this down. Sorry. So we're gonna rewrite this. Okay. So we're gonna rewrite six zero. Let me make this a little bit bigger in case you don't get it. So we're gonna rewrite six zero three nine. Okay. Now we're gonna write the two right here. We're gonna write the eight right there. We're gonna write nine. Okay. Minus. Now two minus. 9 equal what? 7. Because what happened, you have 9. And when you take 2 instead of 9, what are you going to left with? 7. So, let's say you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, they want you to take 2. 2 off of the nine when you take this two off you take this one off okay when you take this one you take them off you take them off how much is left one two three four five six seven so one two three four five six seven so that's the seven we put right here okay that's the one okay now eight minus three you cannot do eight minus three because eight is bigger than nine so what happening here is we have to borrow so when we borrow one in zero we cannot borrow so zero here has to borrow one to five to six when zero bar one to six is gonna left five. 
and we're gonna put 10 here, right? Now, when 3 borrow 1 to 10, it's gonna left 9. Now, that's 1 we borrow, we're gonna put right here. Now, 8 minus 13 or 13 equal 5. And 9 minus 9 equal 0. Remember, the 5 is left. We're going to put right here. That's the answer. Okay? So don't panic. So this is the same answer we got here. Okay? If you don't get it, please watch again. Say for time, you should be good. Now I'm going to, we're going to do the next exercise. Okay? So when you take a look here is a multiplication. The answer is 20. Okay, it's 20. It's 20. Okay? The answer is 20. So some of you may say, how do I get 20? What happened is when you put 5, 4 times, you're going to get 20. I'm going to show you guys easy way to do it. Okay? So when you do, is 5 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equal 20 because 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 5 is going to give us what plus 5 20 because we put five, uh, uh, five four times here. What I'm trying to say, one, two, three, four, five. Plus one, two, three, four, five. Plus one, two, three, four, five. Plus one, two, three, four, five. Here you go. So we're going to add all of these together. All of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay? 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. In case you don't get it, when I put like that. So we have 1. Two, three, four, five. As one, two, three, four, five. Plus one, two, three, four, five. Plus one, two, three, four, five. Equal. So here you got five zero. Here, you got 5, 0. Here, you got 5, 0. Here, you got 5, 0. Now, when you add them, when you add them, that's why you get 20. Okay? So, in case you don't get it, I'm going to show you guys another way of doing it. Okay? In case you don't get it. Okay? So I'm here to help, okay? So, another way of doing it is you can put like this. You get four. When you see the white like this, five, you go 20. Same thing. When you see the white like this, four. Same thing, 20. Eh? When you see the way like this, it's same thing, same thing, okay? So we're going to do the, the next exercise, okay? I'm here to help you guys, okay? So.
So, in some situation, you're going to see they're going to put like this. Here, the answer is 3. This is your answer. It's 3, but how we get it? Sometimes you're going to see when they put like this, 21, right? Like a fraction, 7, right? Equal, what? 3, right? Now, you're going to see again, you're going to see again the division. This one is like a fraction, right? Now, when you see like this, and 21 divide by 3. We need to find the number that when we multiply that numbers, it's going to go to here. So 5 times 3 equal what? Mm, not much. It's not that big there. So 6 times 3 equal what? Mm. 7 times 3 equal what? 21. Because what happened is when we put 7 plus 7 plus 7 equal 21. Because the 7 plus 7 plus 7 equal 21 because 3, 7 goes to 3, 7 goes to 3, 3 times, okay? That's why we have 21, okay? Now, we're going to get 7, we're going to put right here. We write 7 here because if we go 6 times 7, not enough. So when we go 7, times 3 equal 21 minus equal 0. So this is 7, right? Times 3 equal 21. That's why I write here. So the answer here is 3. This is the 1. Okay? So I'm going to show you guys. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's the way of doing it. And then we're going to do another exercise, okay? So here, when you see the, uh, the right uh, mean, mean average. Now, for us to find the, the average, what's going to happen is we're going to multiply this. I, I mean, uh, we're going to add them together. So when we add, we write 10. Plus, 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 okay. So when we add them together, I'm going to bring the calculator. That way you guys are going to see how we add them, okay? So that way you guys are going to see exactly. So when we do 10 plus this 10 plus this plus 21, I mean 23 plus 28 equal 76. So 76, right? That's what we got. Seven. We get 76, okay? That's 76. Now, we're not done yet. So, we got 76. We're not done yet. So, what are we going to do? 76. Divide. By 4. Equal what? So, some of you may say, then, how I end up getting 4? This is how I get 4. 1. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We have four numbers there. That's why I end up getting four. Okay? 
Now, when we divide it, how much are you going to get there? It's a simple math. 19. Okay, 19. Okay, in case you don't get it. So, 76. It's easy. Divide by 4. You go, 19. How you get it? Okay? So, the final answer here is 19. So, this one, when you add it, we add them, we get this one, okay? Now, the final is, remember, 19. 19, okay? So, when you put 19, but you have to show your professor how you get it. How you get it, okay? So, when you add them, you get 76. 76 divided by 4, that's how you get it, okay? So, yeah, we're going to do the next exercise, okay? Now, we have to fund the media. When you fund the media, you have to be careful. We're going to start from the, lar from the small number to the large. So, we have to put them in the order. You start the small first to the large. Now, when you take a look, they're not in order here. You have to start from small. What is the smallest number here? 72. This one, the smallest one. You're going to write 72. What is the next smallest one after 72? Take a look. After 72, what do we got? Take a look. Take a look. 85, the smallest one. I'm gonna write 85. After 85, what is the smallest one? What is the smallest one? 88. After the smallest one, 88, what is it? 90. Okay. After 90, what do you get? The smallest one. The large one, 93. Now, we have to count the one in the middle. The one in the middle. So, when we come, you count, one, you count here from here. You count from here. And you count from here. You count from here. This is the one in the middle. The middle one is 88. Okay, so the AND, the, every, the media is AND8. Okay, so. Is. That's the one. This is the one. The way, the way they look like. Um, if you understand math well. You should be okay. But in case you don't get it, it's going to be, you know, you're not going to get it right until you put them in order. You start from the smallest to the large one. Okay? So, this is the right one. But you have to put them in order first, from the smallest to the large. Okay? So, we're going to do another exercise. So, when you take a look, we have to rewrite it. The smallest one is 72. After 72, what's the smallest one? 78. Because this is the smallest one. After this one is this. After this is 84. After 84, we got 97. Okay. Now we have to find the... We have to find the, uh, in, in this case, so in this case, I show you guys, I'm going to let you guys do it, okay? So, we're going to go to the next one. You guys do this one. Now, we're going to deal with the power, okay? Now, when you see like this, don't get it confused, all right? So, here, this is what we have to do. When you see like this, means... The answer is 25. But how I end up getting 25? Oh. So how I end up getting 25? So it's simple. So it means, you see this one? 
mint five times five equal twenty five. And that's how you end up getting it. So same thing here. So I'll let you guys do this. I give you guys maybe let's say three minutes. So this one's means four times four times four. You go what? Four times four equal what? Four times four times four. Sixty-four. This is the answer because four times four times four. This is what you get. Simple. Four times four times. Oh, I'll just give you guys an example. There's an easy way you can do it. It's right there. You can do it. In, I don't have to do the way you did just to show you because in case you don't get it. Okay? So you're going to see when we did the uh, first one, instead of doing 5 times 5 equal 25, right? You can also just go 5 and here, it's going to give you 25, right? Now, if you want to change a little bit here, let's say you want to use a scientific, you can click here. All right. If you want to use a graphic, this one, you can click there. If you want to use this for uh, programming, in case you're doing a binary, you can click here and then you're going to see we have hexa, decimal, octo, binary. Okay. In case. All right. I just want to show you guys. If you want to go back, just click here. Okay. So. We're going to do the next exercise, all right? So when you see the right uh, seven, uh, one um, raised to any uh, power, okay? When you see like this, when you see that like this automatically, okay? Automatically, the answer is, in this case, is seven. They can put this because a thousand. They can put like this because okay. You don't even have to think, okay. So now, when you see the right um. In this case of uh, zero, any number, any number to the zero power equal one. Okay. So in this case here, okay, raising a number to the zero power is like what? Dividing a number by itself. Okay. So, so here. In, in this case here is one. Okay? One. You don't care even if they put like this. They put a, a, a hundred like this. The answer is going to be one. Okay? So, don't panic. So, in I'm going to go back a little bit in case you don't get it. You see, this is seven. It's, it's similar like this. It's like 7 divided by 7. You go what? 1. It's like 7 divided by 7. You go 1. 7 divided by 7. Here, 1 times 7 equal 7 minus so the answer is one okay okay so don't get confused i'm gonna stop here for today so thank you so much you guys take care bye bye